Get it. The Bird Show. For Davi. Spent a lot of time at TGI Fridays. It's time to honor that. <laughs> Hey, hey, Irish pubs, TGI Fridays, every different kind of bar you can imagine. Um, like, Bert, you worked at Taco Bell. So this is dine-in and fast food. Like, all of this is happening to all the restaurants right now. And it is heartbreaking. I saw a sign out front of a restaurant this past weekend that just, like, about made me cry. And I just want to talk about some of the things that I have noticed over the last couple of weeks. Um, a few weeks ago, I was in line at McDonald's in the drive through I saw somebody throw an entire cup of coke back through the drive-in window like at the person that handed it to them i saw it go flying get flung through there and then i pull up next to pay and i'm like are you all right and the girl's like near in tears she's like i'm fine ma'am i'm fine you know and i'm like this is what the heck and then at another restaurant i see a woman order from the table next to me orders diet coke with extra ice so the server because we're on a patio has to go all the way in she gets the diet coke she gets a full cup of ice so this woman can have extra ice on the side she brings it out and the woman's like I wanted it in there and she's like well I brought it on the side ma'am so you could you know facilitate that yourself put in as much as you want right yes she's like so I have to pour it in so while the server is taking the rest of the table's order the woman who has a full diet coke like didn't even take a sip she just wanted to prove a point starts putting the ice in and it's spilling over and making a mess and she's like scoffing like (laughs) see I shouldn't be doing this you know like it's your job (laughs) I can't be trusted to do this look at what a mess now so then the server had to make an extra trip to bring out napkins because this broad wanted to be salty. Um, Another thing I noticed, and it was at this restaurant where the heartbreaking sign was, is it's a table that's like done and the server's trying to bust their table, but it's a really long picnic table style out on the patio. So she can't get to that back corner where the guy's got like his empty steak plate and his forks and napkins and all this stuff. She's trying to reach over all of his friends and she's like, pardon my reach, could you hand me your plate? Because she's too, she, she didn't have go-go gadget arms she can't get to that sucker (laughs) Uh and he he goes sounds like something that's your job not mine people and he like thinks he's a comedian a couple of his guy friends at the table like are laughing the women at the table are cringing because they know but I'm just sitting and looking around and I'm like working at a restaurant made me a better person it truly did because some like this is the just the saddest bunch of things I got offered three jobs three jobs at three different restaurants just for for being kind because like Mm -hmm. the woman came out she's all frazzled and uh, Blair was like check please and she was like sir yes sir I'll, I'll go get it and I said here's my credit card just to save you a trip Like, I don't want you to bring it out, take the card, go back, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, my God, do you want a job here? Like, it was just the (laughs) night. That was the nicest thing that had happened to her all day. And that is sad. I think you said this. And this is the, um, this you said it a couple of weeks ago. And I think that this is the worst cliche ever because it gives you the sense of entitlement that the customer is always right. No, you're not. You're a D-bag right now. (laughs) Right? But you walk into that place, right? right? And there are some people that take advantage of their servers because they feel like they have that kind of entitlement. And the good news and the bad news here is that I don't think this is a 2021 thing or a pandemic thing. I think people have been rude since the beginning of time. So I don't know how we change that. Mo? People have definitely always done this, but the sad part is I feel like it's worse now because it yeah. goes viral yes. and you get the you got you get the clout from it. So like people are going out of their way to be rude on purpose now. Yeah, I, yeah, and I think maybe the pandemic made everybody miss restaurants. So now that they're going back to them, they're like, I have a butler now, I have a yeah. servant, so they feel really <laughs> hoity-toity with it. And I just think it shows you a lot about a person by how they treat someone in the service industry. Like sure. I have stopped being friends with people because they're bad tippers or they're rude, but the sign I saw this weekend, and I want everybody to keep in mind that most working in the service industry are single mothers, okay? It said, welcome. Thank you for wearing a face mask. We are very short-staffed. We are asking you to be patient with us. We are begging you for a sliver of decency during our new normal. I know you had a bad day. Do not take it out on us. Yelling will not help the situation. Our servers do not deserve your abuse. We are doing our best given the circumstances. Please be kind. 
Is that not the saddest thing that you've ever seen while you were waiting at a hostess stand to be sad? I think this should be America's new slogan. Just a sliver of decency. <laughs> Just That's a it. sliver. We're not That's even looking for we're full. Asking. We're not even looking for full time. Not even half time decency. <laughs> we're just looking now. We're at a point where we're just looking for a sliver of de- decency sliver. with it. Just a sliver. That's all we're we need. Asking a lot, but yeah, <laughs> I just sad, thanks man. for letting me take this opportunity to remind everybody that a lot of restaurants are very short staffed yeah. right now. So be kind. Save them trips. Tip twenty percent minimum, and then they're all hiring. So get your kids jobs there because it'll Amen. make your children a better person. Amen. Um, and keep in mind, a lot of people are going to be going to restaurants this weekend, and it's going to be packed, and people are going to be stressed. So that's a great message going into the weekend. Get it? The Bird Show.